up right now. I'm binging Married at First Sight. I say every single time they release a new series, the Australian one, that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it because it's such a commitment. It's like 30 is it more than 30? What episode am I on? It might be 30, it might be more episodes and they're all like an hour plus long. That's a lot of time. So I've been binging to have. I banged out like six episodes on the airplane. This is my first vlog back since my holiday vlog. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't watched that, definitely go check it out because that trip was so much fun. But back to reality, we got back yesterday and yeah, I'm sitting down. It's 10 past nine. And I'm gonna do a little bit of scrapbooking, which is so nostalgic. I literally used to do this all the time. I keep saying I'm gonna get my scrapbook out from under my bed, but I'm starting a scrapbook for Ocean. And I've put everything in bag, well, most things in bags. I completely copied all these little things from my friend Aisha. She kind of like rejogged the thought in my head because this is honestly something that was like a weekly thing for me. My scrapbook, I do need to get it out because it genuinely, is that Ocean crying? No, you must be imagining things. She is far away. Are you right? I've got a six cents. Six cents? Ocean was literally just crying. Um, or she whinged or I spoke it into existence. Also, I just stopped the camera for a sec because she was crying. Why have I still got sunglasses on my head? It's 9 p.m. <laughs> life of a mum never stop and when I could be chilling here I am being a creative genius but yeah I studied art at college and then I done fashion at uni so I've always been quite like textile scrapbooky kind of thing so I picked up everything from Blind Tiger and I got some cute little bits like basically with scrapbooking because I'm not going to vlog loads of this so many people <laughs> I always say to me, can you do a scrapbooking video? Because I think on my old joint channel, we had a scrapbooking video. But I'm just like, that's a bit much. I personally think it's the things you add on, like the colourful tape and the cute little stickers. And I've kept like bags from Ocean's Party to have like parts of the card. And what other things did I have? Oh, these were from... The bottles, these were personalised because we had personalised water bottles. Just having stuff like that and like boarding passes, like that is what makes a scrapbook. But I'm going to get started. I don't know how long I'll do it for because I actually don't, the last job my memory that I don't have any of the boarding passes and stuff like that at hand right now because it's all in her bedroom. So we'll see how we go. Just wanted to start this vlog because I thought it's a cute little reminder that if you had this on your mind here's me telling you to get it done because i said i'd do this before i should turn one and she turned one like two and a half weeks ago now so now's the moment <laughs> I overanalyzed everything but I am so happy with what I've done so far I've literally done three pages and only two of them are like extreme collaging let me check it da -da 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 -da. oh I'm gonna leave the first page I don't know why maybe I'll write something but here is what I went for so the top left pick is a little bit dark and semi pixelated because it was the throwaway camera that we took to the hospital but I still love the photo it's one of the first photos when Ocean was obviously in the little hospital cot and then this was the little band that's the one that Ocean had on her wrist and this one I'm covering it was on my wrist and then Polaroids and then obviously she was born on Easter weekend so I've got some little Easter stickers and then kind of fancied I don't know why this page to be kind of simple and then this is the third and final page I've done for tonight a little kind of family page obviously just my nana Cass's dad's on it for now but this is like the first week to two weeks 
obviously this one says squinches we'll make in two weeks and I get them printed from free prints uh, I don't have the thingy on my here at the minute but basically they say on the back okay I'm not actually gonna flip this photo because it gives away a bit too much information it shows a map of where I live but you can pay like an extra pound on free prints and it gives you the date and where the photo was taken which I just think is handy when you try and do things in that like chronological order obviously I can roughly remember what dates what but yeah I've only done three pages tonight but I'm not gonna lie that took me about an hour and a half obviously in between I'm watching Married at First Sight I was having some dinner and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little task that I kind of pick up and stop and start again. I'm obviously not going to do week by week, but I've got quite a lot of photos. But I want to catch up to, obviously, now. Not too long. Does that make sense? As in, I want to be at her one year soon. I don't want to be getting for like, 50 books. So I'm going to try and narrow it down a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to get to bed. Cass has literally just popped in got ready and gone back to work um so i'm on my own tonight but i kind of like that sometimes because we don't actually watch the same tv portrays we try and watch like similar vibes together like true crime investigations stuff like that but i'm like i said in a deep hole with married first sight i mean it's quarter past 11 so i won't sit much longer but good night and catch up soon Oh my goodness, let me set you up. Because as you can see, I am not at home right now. Hello, I am currently away. I'm at Beaverbrook and it is like, a, I don't even know. We're about to go and have a look around, but it's like a massive manor house and it's got these huge grounds. We're in a little section called The Village and I'm here with Primark, which is so fun. So exciting, we're here to support the launch of the new Bridgerton stuff. There's like pajamas, I'll show you some bits in a sec because they're all over that side of the room, but I thought I'd give you a room tour. I'm here with some of my friends and some other girls that I've not met before. It's so cute here. I feel like this would be such a nice place for a wedding, a weekend away with the girls, literally a couples trip, anything. It's so freaking cute. This gives me, I don't know, just like great British countryside vibes. It's so cute and we've been assigned buggies like almost bougie golf buggies but we've literally got keys and we can have them for the time that we're here and we can just drive around like we own the place kind of thing so let me give you a tour it's so cute it's not really like my style but i can really appreciate it and it's so cute it really ties in so nicely with the reason that we're here it's very like traditional english let me show you it's just so cute right starting at the front door as you come in we have the toilet and as you can see, like all the little details, so cute. Very different to my vibe, like I said, but I can really appreciate the interior design. It is amazing and this building I think is brand new. I, it has that like kind of new smell. So it's exciting that we're maybe like one of the first to be here. I think he said it was complete at the beginning of the year. And then there's this amazing poster bed with this gingham curtains. Just <laughs> how good does this bed look? <sighs> so cute. And then here's all the Primark stuff. We've got some Bridgerton notepads, just some itinerary. Let me show you the itinerary, actually. This is what we're working with. Here's a little overview, but obviously I'll take you along. I've got some stuff for pampering whilst I'm here. And then here's some of the other goodies. This is so cute. Love all the blue. I'm very much into this kind of like traditional style. And these pajamas look cozy. I'll wear these tonight. I think I can hear the girls getting ready to go down. So I'll be quick. So this is what the, I think, main house, would it be called, looks like. So then little wardrobe. This is so cute. It's pink. I don't know if you can tell on camera. This would be so cute in a nursery. <laughs> I really like this. And then the bathroom vibrant but i'm here for it and this bath bit of me love a big bath actually reminds me of my big bath at home but it's obviously the more old-fashioned style tap and then this is me today so i've got primark blazer on this is just a bodysuit from lounge and then primark leggings which you can't actually really see i've got on my favorite sunglasses which are new from eliza johnson and then my trainers actually match the vibe in here as well. So I'm excited to get going. Here's all my stuff. I'm here for one night. Are you joking? 
but I need to hurry up because like I said, I think I can hear everyone getting ready to go. You can see our golf carts down there. <gasps> it's like a little village. I feel like I'm in Disney. It's so fun. Oh. This is our car for the trip. Oh, beep, beep. oh they're going. Oh, yeah, sugar. Yeah, we need to start. Yeah. 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 And then we'll just go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good ready? day. It's not moving. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Bye. Oh my god, how cool. I promise I'm a good driver. The gym. I should have bought my tra I've got trainers on again, so there's no excuse. <laughs> Not us coming to a spa retreat with a beautiful outdoor pool and it's raining. But it hasn't been. Yeah, time, it hasn't so been. We so just, just decided to go outside when it is raining. I need some windscreen wipes, as you can see them. They're <laughs> always getting busy in there though. To be fair, two of the people we know, so. Yeah. We are just trying to get our content done. Live, laugh, love. Hello. Well, like I've been MIA. Why are you grumpy today? <laughs> oh, what's up? You want to go out, don't you? Knees and toes. This toy is doing my head in. She already had this toy, yeah? Just shows how corrupt toddlers are. Does Ocean count as a toddler, by the way? Obviously, she's 13 months now. But she had this toy about six months ago. And then she re got it for her birthday. Like, she just got gifted it again. Oh, oh mummy not vlogging today then. No? Okay, unreal. Love that. So if you wonder where I've been, I'm sure you can guess with this girl. And it's honestly wild over here, isn't it? It's wild. Quick cuddle. And the only thing that gets us through the day is cuddles throughout the day, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, I love you so much. Yes, I do. You want kiss? Mm -hmm. I love you. So yeah, she really got the toy basically. Now she's obsessed with it, even though she's um she's gonna be the most jealous person this mm -hmm. earth. I love you too, darling. Mommy talk to everybody. She's like, yes, no thanks. Don't you're my mommy. Yeah, I am. I am your mommy, but they're my friends. They're your friends too. Can you wave? Good girl. If you've ever heard the term Velcro baby, that is where that term comes from. But a lot's been going on. My cousins had a baby this week. Oh my God. Ocean started walking properly this week. And I missed you guys, so I've turned the camera on. But as you can see, we are in a little bit. It's a weird phase. It's like, I think it's just the cross between she knows exactly what she wants now, but she can't tell me. I'm hoping a little bit more frustration will be able to come out of her because she's now walking. I think for a little while she was getting so frustrated with herself that she couldn't properly walk and she was trying so hard. But now she is. I think maybe that is one thing we can kind of get rid of frustration wise. Oh, hi. Hello. Yes. Okay, I'll pass you back to her. They want you. Yeah. Anyways, my outfit is from Primark as well, if anyone cares. We're in shorts, the weather's lovely at the minute. If this weather doesn't stay, sorry, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Try not to show you too much outside my house, but you can see, for as far as I can see, blue, blue, blue. Hello, walking girl. Anyways, we are gonna head out. I need to pop to the post office and we've just got a few errands to run haven't we i've got to print some documents and i don't have a printer so the post office do it for me and just get a little bit of vitamin d we like to get out each day that is the beauty of living right in a town center let's go little kiddo good evening the baby is in bed and we are cooking up a storm i said he cooked me tonight guess who's in the kitchen right now me so we're making the tiktok burger tacos and um i didn't realize we had people coming around because i don't know why he's made some <laughs> the mint goes out of date tomorrow why am i gonna not use it all <laughs> What's up, you come, please. <laughs> oh, funny. yeah actually i've got a football team starting up heart palace fc heart palace fc yeah but crystal palace got myself a part of shit since we passed palace so Should i'm gonna I start a youtube there? channel for it uh, obviously with normal match highlights so lock in so if your heart's facing people, join us. No, we've got the trials to get in. You're lying. No, so you're lying. Anyone plays them, they've got to be good. Wait, are you the manager? Yes. Oh, I'm, so you're not playing? I'm playing as well. I'm not playing as well. But, that being said, I actually am the chairman, the club secretary, player liaison manager. You just have to have all these things to do FA. It's on all these. I've got my name back for everything. What's the FA? FA's like. Wait, you're a legit team? 
Bar Summit today, yeah. No, you're not. And here's my logo, actually. Which I can't fucking drink. Could be serious. No, it's a good chat. And I made this logo. It looks like a palace one. Yeah, hey, I can vouch for that. So I made the logo this morning. So yeah, if you know if your boyfriend or your brother or you, if you're a boy watching this, wants to play, um, got me a message on Instagram. And trials are starting next week what? at six. Where are you playing? I've got to figure that out. It'll be in I think I think this could be my, my moment. Why? I my... thought TikTok was your moment. Yeah, but this is like my second big break. You don't tell people about your TikTok? You should know about it right now. I've been doing it for like two months. If you don't, then what's going on? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute how you have all these hobbies. We should get one. A lot's happened today though. Yeah, I thought of it this morning. And now it's like a fully fledged here. There's 18 people in the group chat. Get some sponsors for Kit. Kit's like. Do you see the kit? Yes. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit stumped for words. I don't know what to say. I found these sunglasses in my cupboard earlier. I've been wearing them all day, but they are gorgeous. They're such a nice shape. They're Katie looks to them. So you... here's the goalkeeper kit. Obviously, that's where the sponsor will go. Here's the second goalkeeper kit. Wait, you've designed the football kit? Yeah. Logo on it. Who picked the colour? Me. Okay, I like that. This is the home kit, and then this is our away kit. We've gone for like a baby blue because it's obviously just a bit different. Oh, and then socks are just plain socks. We'll show you the results of the burger tacos shortly. Thank you, you made me the first one. Yeah, That's so sweet of you. One. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about homemade, like, burgers with mint. I feel like it's really hard for them to not be bland. Joe would be nice in this. Doritos. How nice would that be with a crunch? It's really lacking something, sorry. It's nice, but like, I know you won't want this, but bacon in it or something. Oh my God, what a day for the history books. Justin and Hayley just announced that they're having a <laughs> Literally, for a second I was like, semi heartbroken, but then I was like, Sid, you literally have your own beer bear. But I remember when I was younger, I always used to be like, oh my God, the day Justin Bieber gets married and has children is when my life will be over. And I remember feeling a bit sad when he got married as well, but he genuinely, like I've literally seen TikToks of people saying this and some people will laugh and think I'm joking, but like I genuinely think he was my first love. Like, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter, to be honest, but Bieber TikTok, that's my FYP. People having 21st birthday parties, but I've seen people in their mid 20s have a JB themed birthday parties and I'm here for it. To be honest, the only other person I've seen talk about JB the way I do still at this age is Brittany de Villiers. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna start to make my cousin's hamper. I mentioned really briefly earlier, my cousin's had a baby on Sunday, baby Jax. Oh my god, he looks so cute. I've not actually met him yet because they stayed in the hospital for a few days and they literally got home yesterday. And honestly, since having a baby myself, I know how it is. You just, you don't want to see people to be honest. And I'm not going to be that person to nag and say I want to meet him as much as I want to. But since having a baby, it's completely changed my perspective. Because I know people in the past that have had kids and I... I'll be honest, I've been that person that's like, please, can I come and meet them? I will be patient and wait until they are ready. But I've seen so many pictures, he's gorgeous, I can't wait. But also, Abby has just had a baby, so I've made a hamper and it's like a mix. It's going to be like a mix of bits for him, for her, but I just thought, what is something that I found handy when I'd had a baby and like baby shower gifts, etc. So I'm going to put this together. I just got the wicker basket from Card Factory. So I'm just going to put this together now. Uh, I've got nappies. I didn't get any wipes because I feel like wipes are quite... Oh, well, to be honest, nappies are quite a personal preference. But I just went for some good old organic ones. Organic? Like natural just found them on Amazon. I just Amazon delivered everything. This is so good for baby acne. I found this was amazing in the first few weeks when they are adjusting their skin to just like the big bad world. And that is the only thing that kind of like 
put ocean skin at bay and i've seen so many people love that as well this is one of my favorite brands for bum cream especially but i thought i'd try these out so i got these for abby as well the bath um products and the oil just think they look pretty with the theme of everything and obviously she's had a boy so i've gone for like blue vibes pillowcase for mama and it's got some hair bands what else do we have just picked up a little teddy it's one of them things you'd get so many teddies and it's it's actually quite fun to see what ones they gravitate towards but i thought that one was super cute these <laughs> letting my secrets out here so before i had ocean actually it was quite painful down there so someone recommended i get witch hazel pads and i didn't actually use them a lot after i'd had ocean because i had stitches and they would have stung but i ordered quite a few packs and this is just one that i had and i'll probably lose it by the time i have another baby so i thought i'll put that in that's just to kind of comfort downstairs and then i've got some little adidas trainers for him ocean actually had a pair of these they fit her for like a week i'm not gonna lie and then some big pads um knickers the freedom mum ones are so good but they're so expensive for some reason i wasn't opposed to getting them for abby but i just feel like these are what i gravitate towards so i got her the same and they're all much of a muchness it's just the freedom mum ones were more like boxer style which i did quite like some really really comfy these are more like a knicker style but it's actually crazy how expensive the freedom mums ones were however i need to go down the stairs and get it i did get her some of the cool pads uh, from freedom mum so i'm gonna put i don't even know if all this is gonna fit and then i had this for ocean myself this is the zara home um you put your wipes in and stuff which is really cute so i'm gonna put all that together and i've got some cellophane and i'm gonna make it all fancy so i'll show you once i've done i'm also watching this has literally come out tonight it's all going on the beavers are pregnant uh, and then this is the interview of Martha, the real lady from Baby Reindeer. She's gone on to Piers Morgan. So I'm going to watch that whilst wrapping all this up. You know, I could win an award for worst hamper. Honestly, I ran out of space. And then I did the cellophane up twice because it popped open. And then I found more things. I bought things for the baby that I didn't even show you because I panicked. This is like a little teddy bear dressing gown. And then I got a few little outfits. Guys, that is hideous. But I just couldn't fit it all in. That is so bad. I've sellotaped the sides. No, I'm embarrassed. I feel like I've ruined it by shoving the clothes in, but <laughs> no, sorry. That is actually awful. I might take the clothes out and then this is just an overflow because they wouldn't fit i should have done two i should have done one for the baby and one for abby poor josh sorry josh <laughs> you didn't carry the baby but yeah i'm gonna wrap this for tonight because that is annoying good morning see that light shining through that is day four i think we're on hi <laughs> hi Hey, <laughs> we're on like day four of <laughs> this girl gets so jealous. You want to say good morning? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Hi, do you blow kisses? Can you blow? Mm. Thanks, Bubba. Thanks. Can you blow kisses to everybody? Mm. Good girl. Oh, you're so precious. What do you have for breakfast? Do you have toast? Mm, love you. Anyways, yeah, it's like day four of really nice weather in the UK. Does anyone else have a kid that is so. I can't even. I think it's like jealous of me giving any of my attention to anything, whether it's this camera, whether it's other people. Like she gets so loud and it's like, hello, bring the attention back to me, and I just don't know where she's got it from. But today's gonna be quite a big test actually because my hair, by the way. <laughs> It's still such a weird length where if I've got it in quite a high bun, well, it's in a bit of a... It's because I've just woke up, you know? It won't all go up. But today is the first day, I think. No, it's not actually, but we're going to be around a new baby. 
and it's probably the longest I'm gonna be around a new baby. And this is probably the age where she's most aware. She has been around other babies, but I'm gonna be soaking up the cuddles and it's gonna be interesting to see if she gets jealous because I just had this feeling that when we eventually do have another baby, which will not be for a while, she's just gonna be one of them really like jealous siblings. I just get that vibe now that that's what she gives off when obviously like you just heard when I picked up the camera and stuff. But yeah, today I'm really excited. We're meeting my cousin's baby. And yeah, I just feel like the best way I can describe at the minute um, how I've been feeling, because I actually realized it's to today I've actually not uploaded on YouTube for two weeks, which is so unlike me. It's a combination of not being up to much, so there's been nothing for me to vlog. Me doubting everything I'm me, obviously, like I said before, broken record, but like, doubting everything I'm filming. And also, just, have you seen that TikTok where it's like, muffled noises? And then like, I've done one before and it's like, day to day life being like really muffled noise. And then like, when you're with a certain someone, it's like, peace. I feel like constantly at the minute I'm just like really muffled. Put that down. I just feel like it's constantly muffled noises at the minute. So I've been trying to run a little bit more. I'm actually going to go for a run when Ocean's down for a nap. And I feel like that's the only time at the minute where I'm like peace. And I even try and have no headphones in when I'm running. Or I've been listening to podcasts. I'm not even like listening to music lately. Like when I'm out running with headphones in. I don't know what it is. I'm just, I don't know just being honest so that's where that's kind of where i've been that's why i've been gone for like two weeks but i know i said that at the beginning of the video it's been so unintentional but also i feel like when the uk gets hit with hot weather we're all a bit like don't know what to do because obviously it's so rare and we just lack things to do if anyone agrees um so like day to day obviously you're just like chilling whether you're chilling in the sun at home walking and going out with family and like yesterday we spent quite a lot of time in a pub like a nice pub garden and then it's like so loud because everyone's out because as soon as the sunshine hits the uk it's like everyone goes into a frenzy and then it's busy things like that that i can't even vlog or on the flip side i'll be honest i have been going to a couple hi baba i've been going to a couple house viewings my mortgage is up for renewal fairly-ish soon. And if you have no idea what that means, basically you like lock into a mortgage term and because the rates are not great, well, they haven't been for a few years now. Most people I talk to seem to be looking in for minimal time, which means you can either like explore the market and see if you want to move or tie down to like another few years. Because obviously if you tie into another few years, you're kind of, to an extent, stuck where you are without having to pay a fee to get out, in a nutshell. So just exploring if we want to move. Um, and again, that's things that I, as much as I would love to, like I've, I actually don't think I ever talk about how much I have a passionate interest for property. I've constantly got things like the, I'm excited the new Selling OCs out, the new series. Anything prop property related, I love watching. I love going, I'm constantly on right move as like a hobby. Even if we're not looking to move, if I see a really nice house, like I will book in for a view it. <laughs> Honestly, it's like my little geeky side. I always said if I, if all else fails, or if I was to come back in another life and start another job, I would definitely want to go into like, um, it's so weird because I'd say a state agent, but I actually hope this doesn't offend anyone, not everyone, but like the typical, stereotypical, should I say, estate agent really gives me the ick like a typical like salesman they're like hound you hound you hound you like they give me the ick um i'd actually much prefer to sit around a home with the owner which i did the other day and it was really nice so much more chilled so on the flip side i'm like oh i don't like estate agents but would love to be one but um no i just love property so much so that's what's been going on literally not even much to be honest and i'll be real remember when i filmed a vlog a couple weeks back and i was at the gym with my pt and i was like yeah like i've lost some weight i've put it back on pretty sure i've put it all back on but 
I don't really care. Um, I mean, I must do because I'm like, still trying to like run loads, but <sighs> it's wild. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit now. But good morning. It is Sunday, and we're gonna have a nice day, aren't we, Bubba? <coughs> yeah, we are. And Ocean got a cute delivery yesterday. Hi, Bubba. We actually tried to open it yesterday, but it went it went to shit a little bit. It's a nice toy box which someone's made for you so we'll open that in a little bit and sort out all your toys because honestly my house is like hamleys at this point have kids they said it'll be fun they said i leave the room for three seconds no 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 Baby Jacks. I got back from my run. I've done 6k today, and yeah, we met the baby. It's so weird seeing a newborn, just so tiny. He's so little. He was six, like just over six pound when he was born. So I've never experienced a newborn that size because Ocean was born at eight three. So it was just so cute to see a little baby, and in a way, you think, oh makes me a bit broody but i don't think it does to be honest because i have my hands full but yeah we had a really nice day i feel like i didn't wear any makeup today i had a bit of a purge of my skin probably like a week to two weeks ago you wouldn't have seen because obviously i didn't have a vlog out but it is starting to go down these are completely flat now but the rest of my skin is really good and even the pictures that I took today, there's no filter on this camera, by the way. I was like, oh my God, I actually think I prefer myself without makeup on. I just didn't really have time to put makeup on when I left this morning. We did not leave this morning. I left at like 3 p.m. And yeah, I'll put some of the pictures on the screen. But I was like, oh, I'm so happy that I really like these pics. Because sometimes I can get in my head like, oh no, I'm not uploading them. I don't like them pictures. I wish I had makeup on, which I hate that mentality but i'll insert the clips over the top of him he's so cute and it's just nice to have another like fresh baby in the family and a baby in general just because ocean's the only baby but oh my god she was so jealous she sobbed when i first held him and then my nan like sat and comforted her well first of all i gave him back and i was like giving her a cuddle but then i was like no she needs to learn so I tried to have her on my lap and hold him, but she was still, obviously she's so young, so she was like trying to grab him and then she was getting upset. I think next time we see him, I might take her baby with us, like her baby doll, maybe. Um, but obviously one day we want to have another baby, so she needs to get used to it. But anyways, it's getting towards the end of the day. Well, it is the end of the day. It's just gone nine. So I'm going to get <coughs> in bed. And I've got a day working tomorrow the pics that they're sending so this is obviously it's my nan's second great grandchild oh my god my throat's so dry so it was just the cutest thing ever you can see ocean's look of disgust but anyways i came to the lounge to get my kindle i'm really into reading since i went away i read verity which i loved i think i said that in my holiday vlog and then when i got home i read reminders of him loved that as well preferred verity to be fair and now i'm reading regretting you i'm really in my colleen hoover groove and also this kindle oh god i had this kindle when my granddad was alive and my granddad passed away in 2015 so <laughs> just shows some forms of technology can last you forever apple need to take note um i just always kept this because i have always like on and off loved reading but this at the minute you know when i was saying earlier like my brain sometimes well recently just feels like it's like constantly like muffly this really helps me switch off before bed which i love and then instead of going to bed and like overthinking my life i'm like overthinking these characters life which is like a nicer thing to do <laughs> but anyways i will catch up with you guys in the morning Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> should we fully should we fully open this toy box? We've gone through it like six times. 
and something happened, but I want to like open it properly and show, <laughs> show you who made it because a really lovely company made it. And we need to put all your toys in here. So this was handmade and it is by this company, <laughs> Rosie's Toy Boxes. You say thank you, Rosie. And they literally said to me, like, choose how you want it designed. And it's also a chair as well, which is so cute. But I thought it'd be fun if we could put your toys in together. Because as you can see, this is just in Ocean's room. Most of her toys are actually upstairs in her ball pit. And I remember getting the ball pit and saying, no, I'm going to keep it just the ball pit. And that just hasn't happened. It is a toy pit. And it obviously defeats the object of her being able to play in the ball pit. So, hey, look, it's all ready for you. Oh, wow. Matches her room perfectly though. We obviously went for cream. I know, boring beige mum. There was loads of colourful ones, but I thought when we eventually turn it more into like a toddler room, maybe then we'll explore more of colours. But mm. it was hard to see from pictures what kind of shades of pinks and stuff it would be. And her room's quite like soft pinks and beiges and stuff. So this is the one we went for and I love it. So soft and then it's huge. So let's see how much we can actually get in here. But thank you so much to Rosie and the team at Rosie's Toy Boxes. But let's, should we chuck all the stuff in, Osh? Oh. Come in then. Thanks, Bob. Oh, thank you. over and she has the day off so she will take ocean out for a little bit so i can get some bits done and i've just got some work done look at the chaos in the background i was gonna say the house actually quite tidy at the minute but it's just like this clutter i'm gonna go to audi i don't actually love taking ocean to the shop um she's fine but i'd rather just take my time and get it done while she's not there so that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to pick up my nan as well because she keeps saying that she wants to do a food shop um, and I was like let's go to Audi but we have to get in the car <laughs> as in I live in a town so we tend to be able to walk to well if I need to do a food shop I can walk to Tesco in like two minutes but I just fancy stocking up in Audi because Audi's cheaper as we all know is it nowadays but Saving the planet, gonna take some shopping bags with me. And also, if I have time, I have this pet peeve and it's going out during a rush, not rush hour, but like kids pick up time. Remind us to light your candles. And it's currently just coming up to two. So in my head, I'm like, oh, really? We've got an hour before the roads are gonna start getting a bit chaotic, which is not a lot to do in an Audi food shop and also pop into my slam, but they're pretty close to each other. So let's go do a food shop. Kind of boring, but also I actually quite like seeing what people get and we can see how much I can get for my money because I feel like, like I said, it costs a living crisis and you can't get much for your money nowadays. <laughs> and I thought I did a really good job but I spent well a quick overview and then I'm going to say the price I've got a couple named oh, yes. brands yes you did but yeah I spent 80 pounds it's not a huge amount for Elf no I agree but I feel like this would have cost me more in Tesco no 
Well, <laughs> there's quite a lot of greens. Yeah, I got two got... packs of two salmon. I got a whole four pack of steak, some mints. Okay, maybe I'm just trying to justify. No, so you've got, out of that, oh, Ocean's got the receipt. Out of that, you've got one. Obviously, I'm going two, away next week, so. Four. You've got four meals there. Surely more than four meals. You haven't. You've got four meals. Oh. If you're using meats. No, and salmon. Yeah, so that's what There's two each there. Two salmons, two salmons. So that's one meal. I wouldn't have two pieces of salmon. I'd have one piece of salmon. <laughs> yeah. Cass would probably have two, but. Um, so that's what. So there are two meals. Three. Huggling and onto you. Five. Five meals then. I'll let you go with five. What would you use that for? There's two sets of steaks. So that's two meals. <sighs> no, that's not two. Here it is. Okay, that's two meals. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Okay, I did an awful Three, job. Four, five. No, six meals. Say six minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, thank you. Ocean, what do you think? Yeah. Eating the receipt. Thank you. Oh, right, now let's put it all away. Excuse me. What are you doing? What? Got the mama out of the bin. There was a tiniest bit left and I was contemplating. No, no, don't go back in the bin, please. Absolutely not. No way, Jose. Look at you. <laughs> Don't act like you want to take it off because it's getting in your way. What a mess. God. You're, you are a form of contraception, my love. You are. <laughs> I was about to say this is going to be a really abrupt ending, but the other option was just leaving it on ocean covered in Marmite. So, goodbye. Let me quickly show you my pyjamas. I've just got some new ones on from Lounge. I'm working with them on Instagram. But they are so cute. And um, it's one of them days where I've showered and re-put fresh pyjamas on. <laughs> because I'm just getting some bits done at home. Getting some work done, editing some Instagram campaigns. And I got in really late last night. I'll add some little clips as a finish. I went to see Olivia Rodrigo. She's one of my favourite artists. And she was just incredible. We were so stupidly close. It's crazy. I feel like I could see every part of her being it was crazy but it was so good but thank you guys for watching i promise i feel like this is my leap back into normal vlogging and just a little push i needed to just get back into the rhythm of things i don't really know what happened i was talking to Celia about it last night and she was like it's because you've like let a week slide and then i let another week slide and then it's just so easy to just be like oh my god I've fallen off the wagon, but once I jump back on, I'll be fine. So, promise, I'm back. Hope you enjoyed. I love you all, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.